everyone, welcome to Hannah Reads. My name is Hannah and today I have my June wrap up for you. So in the month of June I read 11 books, which was the same as May, so I think 10-11 books is going to be pretty on pace for me, or pretty average. Um, this month I did end up reading 3,615 pages, ended up reading one five-star book, six four-star books, four three-star books, and no two or one stars and no DNFs this month. The first book that I read in June is The Mary Shelley Club by Goldie Moldavisky. I have a complete vlog of my thoughts and the unboxing of this from the Once Upon a Book Club book box. If you'd like to check that out, I will link it below. But I absolutely loved this book. I gave it five stars. I just flew through this book. Um, I found the writing to be very captivating, the plot to be very good, but it is a girl, it is about a girl named Rachel who has a very traumatic event happen to her and it forces her to move schools and she is now considered an outcast at her new high school, but she bumps into the Mary Shelley Club, which is a group of kids with a very diverse backgrounds that are fans of horror movies, both new and old, and they also complete these things called fear tests, which are essentially pranks on other people. So a few of those pranks kind of go too far and people end up getting hurt. And so it is kind of Rachel's story to get through that, but also trying to cope with the traumatic event that happened to her prior. So I love this book. It is gonna be one of the topics of 2021 for me. So I 10 out of 10 recommend this to absolutely anyone. The next book that I read that I will insert a picture of here is Helium by Rudy Francisco. This is a poetry collection that I gave four stars to. It is more about race, racism, and how we can learn to not only survive but thrive in the coming world and just the world that we live in. It was very beautifully written and I recommend it to anyone who likes poetry. It was kind of one of the first poetry books I've ever read and so it looked good. I thought I'd pick it up and it didn't disappoint and the cover is so cute. I love it. So four out of five stars from me. The next book that I read, I read for the Face and Gaze book club for June and that is The Never Tilting World by Rin Chubeco. Chubeco? I'm not sure. But um, this was a three star for me. I did not vibe with this book. It is about a world where it, there, it is separated. One half is completely always in dark and the other half is always in light. And there is two twin sisters that have been separated and they live in each part of the world. And it's kind of like their journey finding each other but not really realizing they were on a journey to find each other but kind of figure out how they can get the world spinning again and how there can be equal parts of light and day within you know a 24 hour day. So I don't know it had lots of perspectives I believe it had four different perspectives. I was kind of confused at times the world wasn't completely explained I thought but yeah, I will link the live show in the description if you are interested in checking that out. But yeah, I did not jam with this book and I am not sure if I'm going to pick up the sequel to The Never Tilting World. The next book that I read in May is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This was a part of my deck of TBR to read a book with an author whose last name started with Y as we got a random letter generator and Y came up. I gave this book four stars. It is about a girl named Maddie who because of a disease that she has is unable to go outside as she is allergic to the world. Which has been working fine and dandy for her for 17 years until a cute boy named Ollie moves next door and becomes intrigued with Maddie and wants to know more, therefore making her want to know more about the boy. So I thought it was very very cute, just a YA contemporary book, so if you're looking for something kind of beachy, fun, easy to read, get you out of a slump, everything everything might be the book for you. The next book that I read in June is Mirrorland by Carolyn Johnstone. This received a three star from me. It was confusing. I just, 
there was parts of this book that I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, I understand what's going on. And then there were other parts where I'm like, what did I just read? But this is about two twin sisters named Kat and the other one is Elle. They grew up together and they had kind of a traumatic childhood. And how they escaped from that was they created this fictional place called Mirrorland where they were able to just forget about their realities and just create the whatever lives they wanted to live. But fast forward bunches of years later from when they created Mirrorland, Elle is missing and Kat must help Elle's husband try to figure out what happened to her. But she is now also having to relive traumatic events that happened from her childhood. And yeah, it's just kind of an interesting book. Lots of twists and turns, but by the end I was kind of jamming with it. But it's a very strange book in my opinion. But yeah, three out of five stars from me. The next book that I read was another poetry collection called Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur, I believe. This book received a three out of five star from me. I found the book to be a little, uh, just okay. okay, it was just okay. Some of the poem's content was a little strange for me. There's a, t I wasn't aware of all like the trigger warnings that were in there. So some of the stuff was just a little bothersome to be reading. And it wasn't what I expected it to be after it being so hyped for so long. So so it just received a 3 out of 5 stars from me. And I want to pick up more of Rupi Kaur. I believe that's how you say the author's name. More of their poetry collections. But I'm not sure how soon I will get to those. The next book that I read in June was The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. This is book 2 in the Villain series which is pretty much just origin stories of Disney villains. This is the second book, as I stated. So this is about the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. I gave this three out of five stars. I actually did enjoy this book a lot more than the first book, which is Fairest of All. I have my complete and full thoughts of both Fairest of All and The Beast Within in book reviews so I will link those down in the description if you are interested in getting more in-depth thoughts from me. I thought this book was good. Some parts I thought were a little unnecessary but overall it was a solid read so three out of five stars from me. The next book that I read in June is Me, My Dad and the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. This was the middle grade monthly book which is perfect because it was for June and June is Pride Month and this book is all about pride. It is a contemporary middle grade book about a boy named Archie who finds out his dad is gay and then finds a flyer for pride and believes that if he goes to pride in London that he will get the answers that he needs to help him understand his father more and maybe help them reconnect a little more. So I gave this four out of five stars. I really really enjoyed it. thought it was adorable. And the graphic or the the illustrations in this book are stunning. So yes, if you're looking for just a fun, heartfelt book that has LGBTQIA representation in it, that doesn't really, that might get you out of a reading slump, then I strongly suggest picking up Me, My Dad and The End of the Rainbow. The next book that I read in June was actually a graphic novel. It was Saga Volume 3 by Brian Vaughn, who is the writer. I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. I am enjoying the series a lot. Um, I just think science fiction may not, might not be my favorite genre, so I find some of these graphic novels, or at least Saga, a little difficult to get through at times. But the story is very good. The illustrations are gorgeous, breathtaking. Love it. And I am hoping to read volume four in July. The next book that I read in June was The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. This is book two in First Era Mistborn trilogy. Um, very, very good. We are still following Vin couldn't remember her name for a second. We are still following Vin, who is a Mistborn, which means she can ingest metals, all of the metals, and get power from them. Some people can only ingest one type of metal, and those people are considered Alamancers. So yeah, this book too, can't really delve 
too deep into this one without giving away spoilers but it is very good adult fantasy brandy sandy don't know what else to say it's amazing if you haven't picked it up pick it up if you have picked it up and you haven't read it all keep reading four out of five stars for me i will be picking up the third book in the trilogy hopefully in august and the last book that I read in June was actually a surprise favorite. It was one that we that I had to read because I lost my game of player cards right in Deck of TDR. And that is Travels with Casey by Benoit Dinette Lewis. This book was adorable. I loved this book. I do not know why I waited so long to read this. It got four out of five stars from me. It is a nonfiction book about a man named Benoit who is a writer and he is also a dog enthusiast who has a beautiful yellow lab named Casey and he goes on this cross-country trip in an RV with Casey to not only help them better their bond but to also understand how other people around our country interact with dogs so he meets Cesar Milan who is considered the dog whisperer and a bunch of other people ranging from small town Montana to the man one of the most well-known dog runs in Manhattan and everywhere else in between so this book is absolutely adorable there is a twist at the end that I wasn't expecting and <sighs> this book is so cute I couldn't stop talking about it and now my mom wants to read it so yes find yourself a copy of this at your local library or on Amazon and read it because it's adorable and it was so touching so cute so well written four out of five stars thank you benoit for this masterpiece so yes i read 11 books in the month of june i'm very very proud of that i'm not sure if july is going to go as well just because my life is getting extremely hectic day by day but i am hoping to get more books read so if you like what you saw please be sure to like comment subscribe to my channel i would love that thank you all for your support so far and i will see you all next time